Hello and welcome to Doctor's Orders. I'm Dr. Rob Hicks and today I'm going to be talking with you about alcohol. Now many of us enjoy a drink every now and then, whether that's with our family, our friends or our work colleagues. It can help us to relax at the end of a hard day. It can help reduce our inhibitions so that we socialise better, you know, at celebrations and other gatherings. But we have to be remembering that alcohol is a drug and if it's misused, not only can it become addictive, but it can damage practically every part of the human body. So from a physical point of view, alcohol can damage the liver, it can damage the pancreas, it can increase our blood pressure, which in turn puts us at greater risk of heart attacks and strokes. From an emotional point of view, it increases the risk of us becoming depressed, and actually alcohol is a depressant. So if you are suffering with depression, then alcohol is likely to make your symptoms worse. And let's not forget the effect that too much alcohol can have you know, on your social life. It can affect relationships. It can lead to poor work performance. It increases the risk of accidents and indeed can lead to you ending up with problems with the law. So how much alcohol then is thought to be safe and healthy to consume? Well, Experts in the UK have recently come out and said that there's no safe level of alcohol with regards to our health. However, recognising that people do like to have a drink every now and then, they've come up with what they're calling low-risk alcohol consumption guidelines. So for men and women, those guidelines are not to consume more than 14 units of alcohol per week. And if you are going to consume alcohol, to make sure that you're not consuming it and on single day. So don't drink all your 14 units on a Friday night or a Saturday night. Make sure that you're consuming alcohol on at least over three days so that you get a few alcohol-free days in between. So we mentioned units, but many people are still a bit confused about units. How do we measure these? Well, nowadays, manufacturers of alcoholic drinks now often include the number of units in a can of alcoholic drink or in a bottle of alcoholic drink so we can just essentially read the label. Or you can think about calculating how many units are in your drink. So take for example a glass of wine, a standard glass of wine which is 175 mils. You look at the strength of that wine, that's usually given as a percentage as the ABV, the alcohol by volume. Multiply that by the volume of alcohol, so let's say 175 mils, and you divide that answer by 1,000, and that gives you the number of units in your drink. So for a standard glass of wine of 12%, 175 mils, you've got just over two units of alcohol. In a pint of strong beer or strong lager that's at 5.2%, you've got just short of three units of alcohol. Now nowadays, of course, we can make life even simpler for ourselves, not having to do calculations, by looking online and using a, a unit calculator on a website, or indeed downloading an app that will do it for you. You enter the drink, it will tell you how many units, and it will actually calculate those over the course of the week. So you get an idea of how much you're consuming and that you're staying within the safe recommended amounts. Now if you do have any concerns that you may be drinking more alcohol than is healthy or indeed somebody you know is drinking more alcohol than is healthy, then do have a word with your doctor so that you can find out what you can do to make sure that your alcohol consumption keeps you within the recommended limits and keeps you healthy. And that's Doctor's Orders.